How's it going guys? Culprit here and today I'm going to do a little bit of a different video. I'm not going to do kind of my Let's Play series. I'm going to do a more straightforward uh, documentary nuts and bolts kind of Minecraft video because as I've started doing the series I've kind of been watching a lot of videos, a lot more of Minecraft videos on YouTube uh, for build inspirations and things like this and we're kind of relearning the ropes and seeing how the game has changed since I played it um, heavily last time and what I'm seeing is a lot of videos that seem to be like, the, here's the most efficient way to mine, and the easiest way to find diamonds, and foolproof way to get all the minerals. And But the one recurring thing is everybody claims to have the most efficient way to mine down deep. And this kind of bothers me, because a lot of the things in those videos then have nothing to do with the most efficient way to mine. Uh, first pet peeve I have is they all call it strip mining. Uh, well, frankly, it's not strip mining. Strip mining is stripping away the surface to get to the minerals just below it. Down here, the better term would probably be branch mining, but I think the reason most people call it strip mining is because they have it in their heads that they are stripping all the minerals out of a set, you know, set area, or just taking all the minerals out of any level that they're mining, which is fine. There's no problem with that, but the problem I have is when they start talking about the most efficient way to strip mine. It's it's almost like an oxymoron. You can't you can't have the most efficient way to get everything. It just doesn't seem to work because once you start talking about efficiency, you are sacrificing some of your 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 resources, your productivity. You are sacrificing some of your returns because, frankly, when it comes down to it, some of those minerals in this case are not worth getting. If the work involved is greater than what you're going to get in return, then you skip it. You you sacrifice that to keep efficiency up and keep moving. So a lot of times what you'll see guys do is they'll sit here and tell you about... I'll just get these out of the way just so they don't confuse you. I've been having some problem with mobs coming down and surprising me, so I've just been started to block these off. So anyway, what they'll do is they'll tell you that I do the two blocks with two spacing, and this way I get all, I can see all the blocks, and I don't miss anything, as opposed to the three block system here, where you see, you know, you see, and but you have this row here that you cannot see that is invisible. Well, that really has nothing to do with efficiency, because frankly... What you're, what you're saying is you're seeing every block, so you're not missing anything. But is that really the most efficient way? I don't feel it is. And I've mentioned this in my other video because, here, let's look back over here again. My feeling is, and I'm going to visually show you this in a couple seconds on a really nice vein spot that I found. All right, so obviously here I'm doing a two-block high, and I'm doing three three-block spacing. I can see this, 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 and same here. It's this, this, this. I cannot see what this one, two, three... I'm not going to really count these because you wouldn't see these no matter what the spacing is. So basically, what am I banking on here? I'm banking on the fact that there is very, very few veins of any material that are going to stay completely two block upright vertical. Okay, if it goes two horizontal, I see it. If it goes two and one, I see it. The most typical vein size that I find as I mine, and I, I mine a lot, guys. This is probably the thing I do the most in Minecraft. I love it. It's very soothing to me. It's 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 therapeutic almost. I find a, some form of two by two. So this four block square, it might not be a solid cube. It might be like two blocks this way, two blocks down. But as long as that vein is two blocks on the horizontal at any point, I will see it. The only way I will not see it is if it is a single block or if it is a two, a two or more that remains completely vertical. Chances of that are very, very small. And at the end of the video, I'm going to walk you through a test I did just to kind of show you that. I did a certain, and you'll see here, that's why it's all laid out. I did a pretty controlled test as best as I could just to give you guys some indication of where the efficiency is at comparatively between a three, block, a three space system and a two space. So let me show you visually some really good veins to just put it right in front of you and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, guys, so here I'm going to take you to a bunch of examples of why I skip the middle block. Now, I, I, t I showed you my setup and why I prefer to skip the three block spaces, thus leaving that middle block unused. And this is pretty much examples why. Now, I understand these are kind of solitary examples, but the reason I use these, excuse me, take a bite, is because I can show you all what I feel are the important minerals in one spot. So here you see iron. Everybody knows, you know, it's a four block. This is a little, you know, jagged block. Coal is all over the place, hooks into an iron block. But you see a big conglomerate of coal. Redstone, again, all jagged, two blocks wide by two blocks wide. The coal is like what's it, four by probably four-ish, four by four, this iron is two by two, this one's two by two, and, and here's the diamond, four block diamond, two by two, uh, I'm, I'm saying a space, not, not, you know, solid, so 
none of these things appear very often. And then, of course, I have gold here for two by two solid stuff. And then again, I'm seeing other stuff already. But like I said, I just chose these guys because I've found all the important minerals in this one little room. I hollered it out for you guys. Just give you a nice visual. It's, it's a visual example of what I'm talking about. Now, let's just zero in on, on, on diamond because that's what everybody's concerned about. Iron and, and coal are great, and everybody's looking for them. Redstone, too. Gold, to a lesser extent. But when we're down here, when we're at these levels, this is what we're looking for. Yes. Now, is there a chance that I'm going to find the solitary diamond block that's in that middle row? Yes. Is there a chance that I'm going to find this doubled up in a one line, just these two blocks, say, and I will just mine right by it? Yes, there is a chance. But to, to me, in my opinion, it's such a low chance that I'm willing to do that in order to increase my efficiency. That's what this is about. This is about efficiency and speed and, and basically covering as large an area and, and harvesting as many minerals. Now, I'm not going to get 100%, but because I feel like in that pursuit of 100%, the harvesting every single mineral in this whole blo like chunk or grid, you're s definitely losing a lot of efficiency. So to me, I'm willing to sacrifice 2, 3, 4, maybe even 5%, which is probably about where it is in my belief, to increase my speed, to increase my efficiency, while well, you're going for that 100% efficiency, because think about it, all you're going to gain here, you're not going to gain a five diamond vein. You're not going to gain a three diamond vein, in my opinion. What you might make on me, if we both mine the same map, we both had a seed, we both built right at spawn, went straight down and mined. Uh, 200 block by 200 block square, and we, we did a test, which I'm going to do something similar. You're going to pick up a lot of, maybe a couple single diamond veins double diamond veins where they're stacked like this you're still going to get double even if on two diamond veins they could go horizontal and i will find them the only ones i'm not going to find are the ones that stay completely vertical and that's not going to happen but tops five percent of the time if even that so i'm losing five percent of my minerals but i'm gonna have i'm gonna i'm gonna cover so much more ground that at the end of the day i'm going to have a greater production. At least that's how I feel. I'm not trying to tell you what's right or wrong, but this is why I base my system on this, and this is why I base my decision on tangible, visual evidence for you guys to look at. Now, I'm going to do a little experiment. I'm going to walk you through in a minute. So why don't we just head on over there right now? Okay, guys. So first, I want to kind of talk you and walk you through the setup for my testing I did just to kind of give you an idea in case you wanted to replicate it or just in case you had some general questions. This wood here marks the start of the test area. And basically what it does is this is block one. It goes all the way down for 50 blocks to the end of the test. And I'll show it. And, and you can take note on the left is the three space. On the right is the two space template. And there you go. You see the wood right there. That Those will be the last branches. I believe it's actually like 49 blocks to this. And I just did that because then they both hit on the same one. And it fits very nicely. So what it comes down to is the three the three block spacing template has 13 branches in those 50 blocks. The two block spacing has 17 branches in that same amount of space. That equates to a oh look at that little slimer a 38 percent increase in branches with the two space. 13 13 branches, 17 branches. So 17 or 38 percent more mining. That's something to consider when we're talking efficiency. And basically what I did, we went down here, and I'm just going to take you to the back. We went down, starting block one, all the way down to 50 blocks. And then you'll see, I basically just did a 90 degree turn, and I did a back trench. And this is just to keep me from mining more than I had to. So this would be block 50, and this would also be block one going that way for 50. And you can see it's just a big square, and then I just mined out. You know, each individual branch, and basically we're doing a test to see whether I missed a lot, because that seems to be the number one argument that people make. Now, to keep it kind of as balanced as possible, basically what I did was on this side, first what I did was I did not mine here, so there's a nice big buffer, so there's no chance of anything mining here, overlapping into here, missing any minerals. I wanted to do that to keep it the same. I did it there as well. Um, so on this side, on the left, is the three-block spacing template. On the right is a two-block. Now, to kind of work away some of the randomness we get in the Minecraft between you know tunnels and lava and water and then just the actual minerals spawning themselves, I ran on second test. Again, this is going to mark the second test. This is just a buffer zone right here. So this is the, the beginning of the second test right here, and you can see 
Now what I did, I just flipped it. I put the three three space template on the right, the two space on the left, and then just ran exactly the same test. Block one, all the way down to 50, goes to the right 50, and all the way back 50. And you can see, once again, 50 blocks all the way to the end. You'll see the wall appear very shortly. And it's again, it's the same thing. To the left, the two spacing template is 17 branches. To the right is 13 branches. And I just mine the heck out of it. And then let's see what kind of results we got, and we'll talk about that. So here's the final breakdown between the two templates, three spaces in between branches or two spaces in between branches. You see the numbers, how they stack up. Uh, diamonds were 30 to 24. That's a bit of an anomaly. You know, there's, there's less. I would expect that to be fairly even, and I think as we extrapolate it out over more tests, that would kind of get very similar. Uh, what I did was I, I put most of the focus on the higher numbers because that's going to kind of minimize randomness a little bit more. Uh, iron, as you see, is 171 to 179. Very, very close. It's actually an uptick to f about 5%. Uh, gold, again, was a bit of an anomaly, which went the other way. So I kind of canceled those out. Um, lapis was just another one. It, it had high totals. So I was trying to go for the minerals that would have high totals because uh, the, the more instances you find of it, the less kind of variance you're going to have. And again, that one's very close, but nobody really gives a crap about Lapis. I don't even know of a use for Lapis yet. Uh, coal, 462 to 525. That's an uptick of about 14%. Now, that is, that's the highest one we had uh, to the two, two spacing side. So that was interesting. And then Redstone was 891 to 932. That comes out to be about a 5% uptick. So yes, you are finding more minerals with the two spacing. We would figure that. That's what you would think. That's what you would hypothesize before you even did the test. But keep in mind the stat I told you in the beginning. These two tests are done in the same exact size, you know, blank canvas. The, the 50 by 50 and the 50 by 50, which comes out to about 5,000 blocks. It's it's a 50 by 100 section of 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 mine basically and it's 5,000 blocks it's the same for both you're just mining 38 percent more with the two spacing system that's the killer in order for you to make it in order for it to be in my opinion worth that all that extra work that's a lot more extra work it's a lot more extra work you're going to use up more resources in the form of picks shovels this kind of torches there's an expense for mining keep in mind and what you're basically going to do is you're going to spend a lot more time and all you're going to see is, what, 5 to 10, to f maybe 15% returns. In my opinion, it's just not worth it. So there you go, guys. I tried to lay it out to you as scientifically as possible. Sometimes I do like to nerd out on these things and get into the numbers and crunch them. But I didn't go too deep. Uh, you know, I'm fully aware of that. Uh, perhaps I'm going to carry on the same kind of mining just to see if the results kind of stand up. And each each 50 by 50 block I do, I'll write the results down. If I see anything really change and stand out at me, I'll, of course, share that with you guys. But as a quick little kind of scratch the surface test, this pretty much showed what I thought, and I, and I have done these tests previously a year ago and, and before that, but I just wanted to see perhaps the mineral spawns had changed and that kind of thing. Um, but no, I, my hypothesis still stands true to me. If you were looking for the most efficient method, the most efficient system of mining, to me, the three spacing is the way to go. Yes, you are not going to get 100% of the minerals out of that area. But I think in the long run, you're going to come out way ahead for time spent working versus production gained. And I think the numbers speak for themselves. Go out and try it yourself. Make a mine shaft. Do two on one side, two spacing on the left side, do three spacing on the right side. Go down a couple hundred blocks and just keep separate chests and everything and see what you get. It's, it's really that simple. And it kind of makes the mining a little bit more interesting. It makes it a little bit more fun because you're, you're, you're waiting for the results to come in. You're looking at it. You're kind of rooting for one way or the other. And it just it, it's just kind of interesting. So let me know what you guys think. What system do you prefer and why? I'm really kind of curious on this because I see such variants out there. And I haven't really seen anybody present it in this way. Um, but yeah, if you do know of any videos that kind of get really down into it, I'd love to see it. So please link me if you could. Uh, otherwise, guys, thanks a lot for watching. And I hope you have a good day. Talk to you soon.